we got some fresh beats for you. You are listening to the one, the only <laughs> Southport Hospital Radio. Oh, we spent I've got to be honest with you, what an awful song that is. I should remain like impartial, but it's my last show, I don't really care. Uh, Soldier Boy, uh, it's called Crank That. It's up uh, four places uh, to number three on the, uh, on the Hit 40 UK and it's in Smash It's chart. I've cranked down so many in my town, I don't know what's going on. Uh, right, we do have a new number one, down one. After her reign of uh, seven weeks at the top, she falls one place. Leona Lewis, which means we do have a new number one. The number one was straight in at number one, and you can only buy the single in Tesco. That was the only place. Uh, it's never been done before, just solely into one outlet. But it's gone to number one. If you don't know who it is, find out who it is next after this. Leona Lewis and Bleeding Love, number two, Pit 40 UK. Sorry, <laughs> that was like, that was just my name. Well, not all the time, it just for me. For all you people <laughs> yeah. stuck in the hospital, it's freezing out of there. <laughs> well, that's what I said, what's the point of doing the weather in here? So we banned it, you know. Especially if it's really... There's those dulcet tones. <laughs> uh, we've got another song yet, mate, so uh, no worries, cheers. I'm sure you got it for free in the paper. Is that on? Yeah, that's really bizarre. Leona Lewis and Bleeding Love. Just under two hours to go. Ish. And um, before I finish on my last ever show, we're just tuning in tonight. Uh, this is Johnny Collins. It's Channel 45. It's um, South Basketball Radio playing you more hits and more variety. And uh, we count down the chart every single week, the top ten, and play the top three. And for the final time, the last ever number one I'm going to introduce on this show on here, it will be Eva Cassidy <laughs> and Katie Melua. It's a cover of What a Wonderful World. It's to raise money for the British Red Cross. It's all for a good cause. This is the official UK number one. I just got all the way, even. Uh, what are we on here? Just find the right one. Is that all you're going get, get to do when you get, get on stage? <laughs> yeah, I, I shouldn't really do it, but yeah. He's <laughs> going to knock it over. No, knock it over. get to take. Well, why is he with Steve McLaren or all of that? But every, every year, I place the comedy star on the tree. You've had Richard, Judy. Well, uh, Barry Scott <laughs> of, uh, you know. It's just gone nine o'clock. That is the current number one. Straight in raising money for the British Red Cross. Eva Cassidy, Katie Melua, What a Wonderful World. It's the final ever tune I will introduce and play as number one. If you want to know what's going on Christmas wise, hit for the UK, the Christmas countdown, four o'clock across the UK this Sunday. Lucio will let you know what's going on. Uh, right, uh, normally at this point we, we play in radio what's called the top of the hour, which is a little bit of a jingle with a space in the middle where you basically say what's coming up over the next couple of minutes. Um, and because I've been here so long, uh, the original jingles were absolutely awful on this radio station until I got my hands on it and changed them. And I had my own for a while, uh, made by me and we had a different voiceover purely for this show. And we used to do, just after 9 o'clock, the weather, which I thought was slightly pointless if you're in hospital. It's not like you can kind of just nip outside and uh, enjoy the sunshine. In your in bed or whatever, uh, but we thought we'd bring back the weather for one last time. And uh, hello, Mr. Mr. John McNamee, how are you? Hello, I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. This is uh, this is slightly weird. I know. Uh, it's emotional. It is. Yeah. <laughs> Your text made me laugh yesterday. I'll be there. <laughs> it's be <really> emotional. <laughs> Hankies uh, and pockets. <laughs> well, <laughs> I always go on it. Um, yeah. So John used to help me out. Uh, when did you leave, mate? About just over a year ago, ish. Just about what 14 months ago or something. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, to go to uni work. Uh, Sunderland. And you helped us out for how long? Uh, I don't know, two years. So, uh, John used to be here uh, helping us out. We have like support staff, so it's not just the people you hear on the radio. If you listen to Hospital Radio, it's all run voluntary. Loads of people in the background helping out, filing requests, or reading some showbiz news, or, or just generally being a part of the show. That's the way this station works, and, and most hospital radios. Uh, so, John, would you like to do uh, the last ever, 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 ever weather? Uh, are, you, are you up for the challenge of that? I think I'm ready. Okay. Do you want to know the weather first, though? 
Do we, I want to know the weather? We, well, we kind of made it up because we didn't check it on the telly. But we're going cold to freezing, dry, and about three Celsius. All right. Okay. Right, so we'll cue the jingle. Hang on. Johnny Collins on Southport Hospital Radio. And now the weather. Right, your weather for today, it's cold to freezing, a low of minus three degrees Celsius, and it's wrap up warm out there because it's quite cold. Thank you. I only said about three degrees, not minus three. Oh, well, it's you're, probably well against a minus three. You're closer to the window, so I'll take your word on that. On. <laughs> I've got two t shirts on. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, thank you, mate. All right, right cheers. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll speak more with, with former staff of mine uh, as the night goes on. First, though, we'll give you two songs back to back. New one from Kelly Rowland, which is out on 28th of Jan called Work. And uh, we'll do some Bob Sinclair as well. Johnny Collins. How did she remain undiscovered for so long? Southport Hospital Radio. <laughs> Seamus. <laughs> You've been doing this for ages. I know, yeah. One day you will get the answer to the children at the sky. Hold on, hold on, hold on, come on. Everybody in the universe. Hold on, one day you will get the answer to the children at the sky. Bob Sinclair and Steve Edwards and World Hold On from Channel 45 at Southport Hospital Radio with Johnny on my final show today uh, until 11 o'clock. Uh, we've got some showbiz news coming up soon. Uh, we'll talk to Tim first. He'll tell us about uh, the Spy Skills. Uh, did a bit of a special appearance. Hardly anyone turned up for it. Liam Gallagher has gone into teaching and we've got some news on uh, Chelsea Football Club. All that and more in the showbiz from 9.15 today. Um, now, because I've been on this radio station for ages, uh, one of the, the, the things I've done on here is hag, uh, have my leg waxed live on the air uh, which blooming hurts right and I have sympathy for, for a lot of girls now, obviously men's legs are more hairy so therefore it would technically hurt more uh, so I've got a little bit of, of, of what we call a bed that's uh, something which like you talk over a little bit of music and it's got uh, some old clips of me um, from, from back in the day when I was on the air so have a listen you look good just in your skirt Tom just give it to you in psychology I think I can manage that Jonathan Collins on Southport Hospital Wait. Radio <laughs> <laughs> I said to my mum on the way out. Just one cent. I said, oh, by the way, I'm just one cent, mate. One, two, three. Nice. And that was it, basically. <laughs> she wasn't worried at all. <laughs> I'm ready. Yeah. So, what You're getting a bit nervous now, aren't you? Go I am, actually. Your foot cheeks are going at all. It's painful. John Lulu. Lulu. Shut Playing the best music, Jonathan Collins on Southport Hospital Radio. I'm laughing if no one else is. It blooming hurt though, that. Ever have your uh, leg waxed, Tim? No, but I've had a crack second back. You knew it was coming, mate. <laughs> <laughs> have you genuinely had a <laughs> no, crack of course not, mate. You well out. Uh, Tim, it's a pleasure to have you here tonight. Uh, Tim used to work uh, on the show. We used to do Tim's hymns, and then you went into presenting your own show, and then left to, to go travelling round the world. Mm. And uh, well, am I right? One part of it, mate. No, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do the neighbours talk. You're not quite like Judith Chalmers yet. <laughs> Uh, so thank you for coming in today. Um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, taking time out your busy schedule working at View Cinema, <laughs> I do appreciate it. Uh, would you like to do some showbiz news for the final time? Sure thing. Uh, give us information about the Spy Skills. You did a little bit of an appearance. It all went a bit to pot. Tell us why. Uh, it was a very lukewarm reception. Uh, half the competition winners to see them at a secret location turned up. There was meant to be 500 there, but 250 turned up. Uh, it was a Virgin Atlantic's new terminal at Heathrow Airport. Uh, Fans won a contest to see the reform band at this location, but they only came. Only 250 came to watch them on stage with Virgin Bus Sir Richard Branson. Mm. Which is not good. The winners were annoyed when the girls were an hour late off their appearance after flying in from LA. I on a new just, Virgin Spice One jet. I just kind of think the whole like arse has fallen off the Spice Girls. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, those, those Tesco adverts are poor. Oh, awful, awful. Uh, oh, just, she's seen me buying a I'll hide behind a Christmas tree and all that stuff. It's not good. Uh, I just reckon that the arse will fall off it and they'll, it'll just be like all saints, you know what I mean? Have mm. like one or two hits and then like they'll get dumped from the record label or something. Uh, all to make 10 million quid though. Uh, Liam Gallagher has gone into teaching at his son's school. Give us more details on that, mate. All right, he's teaching music lessons and also playing footy, probably at breaks with everyone else. Uh, the Oasis singer started getting directly involved with the education of his two kids, Gene and Lennon. Mm. I saw us give us more. 
<laughs> I'll just it. read the oh. top line. <laughs> a source commented, I know I was taken aback because I've been a uh, sprung of the showbiz news. I just want to know if he starts fights on the on the pitch afterwards, like we used to do in school, but no one would want to. <laughs> no one want to hit him. You in a fight, I find that extremely hard no, to believe. Well, not, not me, personally. You know when everyone has a fight over football, can you imagine Liam Gallagher just squaring up to you? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, Liam's... But he's teaching kids, like, 30 Yeah, but years at, bre- at a break, everything's fair game, isn't it? At a break. The teacher used to beat me up for my lunch money. Stop <laughs> it, Mr. Belfort, I'm a <laughs> Just Please, for the record, that's not true. My, my last show, I don't want to go down the lawsuit roll again, please. <laughs> okay, it's us commented Liam spending loads of time in the school... He does the school. He does the school run and often pops in and teaches the, the kids some music skills. Obviously, limited skills. Ooh, I'm Ooh. A <laughs> I'm it's controversial. Joking. He's often in the music room playing on the instruments with the kids, and he sometimes has to kick about outside too. Some of the kids are a bit too young to really understand who he is, and he is just another dad to a lot of them. They don't know how lucky they are. Uh, of course, he's married to Nicole Appleton. Uh, she's described him in the past as the best daddy in the world. Oh. But she wasn't talking. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go. <laughs> Very quickly, uh, in 40 seconds, Chelsea FC. Uh, listen to Leona Lewis before games. Tell us more on that. What a bunch of... Um, Chelsea FC have revealed that they listen to Leona Lewis, that hard music there for inspiration before their games. Um, <laughs> defender Paolo... Ferreira Ferreira has claimed that they're trying to improve their performances by listening to this X Factor star he says I've got Leona's songs on my ringtone I like her music she does really well as an artist since winning X Factor she was knocked off number one spot in the UK singles rival chart this week by Katie Mellow while Chelsea lost 1-0 to North London rivals Arsenal in Premiership so clearly that marriage lasted a long time it is Uh, this week they're going to start listening to uh, Katie Mellow (laughs) right thank you Tim we'll talk to you more as the uh, evening goes on he's staying to 11 I hope so maybe what do you mean maybe Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't leave early on my last show. I'm going to lock the door. Now, you stay until 11 if you like it or not, okay? Okay. Thank you. Uh, everyone else staying until 11, apart from the people who've said... Uh, 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 well, good, that's good. Thank you. Uh, right, uh, we'll do more showbiz news next, uh, and uh, we'll, we'll do uh, Dean Martin, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. This will make you feel Christmassy. The tune that is Dean Martin, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow. Southport Hospital Radio. It's my last show today ever. Been on the radio since 2001. Finished today at 11 o'clock. Loads of old faces and voices are coming in, which is very nice. Uh, and it's uh, it's me until 11 o'clock today here on SHR. Uh, right, uh, let's talk to you. This is really weird, this, because I'm so not used to playing old bits of music and stuff and talking over them. Sorry, y'all. Uh, John's back. Hello, John. Hello. Uh, this is the final. You, you're very honoured in doing this, because we've got. Uh, we normally we do five showbiz stories uh, each week. And uh, we're down to the last ever two showbiz stories on my show, and you get to read the last ever one. I Tell know. me, mate, how emotional that is making you feel right now. It's just so emotional. Uh, I can't describe it, really. I'm filling up thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you like to just mention what you thought of the microphone, uh, you know, because you weren't used to this studio, because you haven't really been here for about a year, because uh, obviously you left about a year ago to go to uni. What did you describe the microphone as? Well, the microphone is a bit limp. Mm. And my friend Tim said, give it a rub. Uh, have you given it a rub? Has it gone uh, any harder? It's uh, <laughs> working on it. <laughs> you gotta, you got to essentialise it first. Yeah. Then... Well, <laughs> uh, I'll just send this link via the radio authority. Uh, right, uh, let's crack on with the show before we get chucked off the air before my last show ends, which hopefully won't happen. Uh, Leon, of course, won the X Factor. He's apparently guaranteed the Christmas number one. We're going to play the song before 10 o'clock today if you haven't heard it already. Uh, his uh, version of Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston's When You Believe. He's guaranteed Christmas number one, say Bookies. Give us more on that. John McNamee. Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. It's, like, shocking if you win the X Factor. X Factor you're pretty much guaranteed Christmas number one, which is the way it goes now. Uh, it's pretty much, like, all competition. It's no point because uh, you get so many fans from the, t- fans from the TV show. So uh, it said a spokesman for HMV said uh, Leon Jackson could shift 400,000 copies of the single in a matter of days. Uh, and last year, Leona Lewis sold 500. Thousands of a victory in less than a week, so probably won't do as well as Leona, but probably still will get Christmas number one. I just think, to be fair, the whole of the X Factor has been a little bit kind of crap this year. Yeah. I think it was better, a better show, uh, but the contestants on it I thought were awful. And if you've seen Leon trying to be interviewed, my God, he's struggling. It's just like talking to a brick, awful. So I don't really think uh, he's going to do particularly well when he goes on this morning or what have you. Uh, anyway, uh, Catherine Tate confirms Doctor Who exit. Apparently this was said the other day on uh, on Radio 2. Give us uh, the full details on this, mate. Yeah, uh, well, I wasn't, I wasn't. I watched Doctor Who like last year, The Runaway Bride, and yeah. I, I thought that was her exit, but apparently not. No, she's uh, come back as that other 
Friar Agman or uh, uh, that other girl, you know, like the uh, the girl who sort of yeah, become the new Martha. assistant. Yeah, well, she's gone. Uh, yeah, right. now. I think she's been given the boot, and Catherine Tate's coming in to be the assistant. But read the whole thing, mate. Uh, we'll get the full details like on Catherine Tate. Anyway, <laughs> uh, basically, she's being confirmed. Uh, she will leave the show at the end of the next season, and believes David Tennant might be joining her soon after. Uh, basically, Tate who will be reprising her role as com- companion Donna Noble in the fourth season, told Jonathan Ross on his Radio 2 show that she will not be staying on, and she also suggested David will be coming with her, saying I think it may be David's last season. So uh, Tate said that Tennant will possibly play the Doctor in three specials for 2009, so apparently it's taken a year off. It's going to be like a season next year, and then three specials in 2009, and then who knows what's happening in 2010. It is assured to return, but with who is the Doctor? And with who is the companion? Nobody knows. I think you make quite a good Doctor Who, mate. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, you uh, won't be too bad yourself. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm, I'm leaving here to go to yeah, be Doctor Who. Just into the TARDIS yeah. <laughs> in the hospital car park. Uh, yeah, we never. Have you seen it? Part there. God, I thought I parted it better, mate. Uh, right, thank you, mate. There we go. Let's give it up for the feature. What has been for the past couple of years? The show is news, everybody. It's, it's, been, it's been emotional. I think you should also give it up for digitalspy.com as the number one source. <laughs> you can't reveal my source. Okay, digitalspy.co.uk, number one for showbiz news. <laughs> Seriously, right? Uh, just it, it's it's hits must have just took an absolute beating <laughs> since we've all started to do news of some sort uh, on this radio station. Everyone uses digitalspy.co.uk. Right, thank you, John. We have some retro years on the way from 9:30 tonight. Uh, three of my favourite retro tunes ever, well, ish, uh, to play from 9:30 tonight. And hit me some maybe at quarter to ten. It is my last show ever on Hospital Radio, and with you until 11 o'clock today. <laughs> Right, let's get one of my favourite tunes on. This is awesome. A duet and a half. Kenny Rogers, Dolly Parton, Islands in the Stream. SHR. More hits and more variety on SHR.